out. Welcome back to Grandpa's Farm. Finally got my recording device to work. It's been giving me some issues today. But uh, I was doing a little chainsaw and knocked down all the shrubbery here in this uh, this ditch we had discovered. And uh, sinkhole, whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> it's a freaking gully by the time I got it all hacked out of there. Um, yeah, it's going to finish up chainsaw work. I already hauled in one load. Actually, two loads. Started... Uh, started filling in that one bunk silo we're going to try to rip out them silos and put in uh hopefully put in a couple new bunk silos over here close to the farm uh get a little more capacity and uh got a pick truck run down load up some more sand ended up leasing the leasing the loader front loader so go down there and get some more get some more sand get this hole filled in i try to get this done as fast as possible uh Woke up this morning and Jamal was sputtering about something about the rebels flaring up with their tanks, and something about shooting rockets, and uh, I don't know what the heck's going on with the rockets, but we're gonna find out what this new type of warfare is all about anyway. We'll hop in the tank and do some patrols and see what we can find out. So uh, I'm just gonna, gonna go uh, turn the microphone off and get to work. I guess that's about all I'm gonna get for the cutting it here. I'll have to bring the have Jamal bring a stump grinder in and buzz him out. But uh I also told Jamal to bring the guys over and calling up his army of men. And uh I told him I want that uh those two old bunks ripped out. Feed bunks. And uh start construction on a on a new feed bunk. I'm gonna get that done this afternoon or at least get it started. I'm knowing those guys will have it done in no time. So, gonna go grab another load of sand. Keep filling in the hole over there, and uh, see if we can't get this finished. And we'll see what's going on with these rebels. Here is the sand pit. This is uh, this is basically what I did for about three hours this morning after chores. I came up here to get the first load, and they had that excavator sitting right here in the middle for for loading trucks and whatnot. And yeah, of course, you know, knowing my luck. I went to hop in the excavator and it wouldn't start. Just click, 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 click. Dead battery. So, wasn't anybody around. Uh, apparently, Kay never left any helpers here for taking care of the sand pit. So, I leased that loader and we ended up pushing and ramming and shoving. Got the excavator shoved off here over the side anyway. And, uh, it's gonna stay for a while. I'm I'm not gonna be putting any mechanics on that thing. She's <laughs> about 60 years old, so no glass in it. He definitely needs a paint job, some lubrication. But uh, we'll use this bad boy. This thing starts. <laughs>
Well, this will test my theory of whether it's pounds or liters. Um, with the milk, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna call it pounds, just because it's just it's what I've always known. I'm sure it's a liter. You know, there's so many pounds per liter. I mean, I'm not stupid. I understand that concept, but as far as just to make things simple, you know, milk's gonna be pounds and sand and other fill and whatnot. I'm pretty sure it's liters, um, could be pounds, depends on how you want to play. But I kind of figured out the, the first load I hauled out of here, so this truck is uh, 1,800 horsepower, okay? <laughs> and she was doing some grunt and pull on this load out, 70,000, what I would have called pounds. Um, I'm actually going to start calling it liters because that's what it is. Because this sand is evidently some really, really, really heavy stuff. And if she causes the tires to squat, I mean, they're squatting pretty good. And when when I get going, um, I'm going to go this way anyway. Because the last time, which I probably should show you to demonstrate, but I don't want to get stuck. On the way in, that little bridge we came across, this thing bottoms out. And the tires, when, once you hit that, that wooden bridge, it really shows the weight. I mean, you try, to, you try to go up that hill, and this side's on the uphill, and that those tires and those axles are on the bridge. Oh, man, she just digs right in, and it only goes about a mile an hour. That's if you can go at all. So it's some, uh, it's some seriously heavy stuff. <laughs> so I love it. I love it being able to, uh, you know, be here and... and broadcast my uh, my farming experience on the PlayStation Network and PlayStation. Uh, that's what I use to, to upload my videos. And uh, I don't really have a, a, a personal computer at home. I have my, my PDA and, and uh, my PlayStation. That's about all I use for, for uh, bringing you these quality videos while well, editing myself. Uh, nothing scripted this is all just garbage just rattling around in my head <laughs> but super super stoked we got some sand to play with we're gonna go uh fill in some holes and god knows what else we do with it after this stay tuned we'll find out huh maybe i'll smooth out some of these roads or do uh help out some of the construction contractors around here we'll see Looks like, uh, looks like the boys have already been filled in some of this. That's sweet. They filled in a lot of that. That's fresh dirt right there. Where'd they get the dirt from? Holy moly! They got the they got the stumps ground out. These tree remainders, sweet. They got the stumps gone. Ha <laughs> They ripped up the old bunks. Got started filling them in. Man, did some major excavating along the, the fence line here. Must be this is where they're going to try to put the new bunk. It would be pretty cool if we could do an earth bunk like this, like uh, a lot of farmers are stuck doing because they can't afford a fancy concrete bunk. But that'll... See if that happens. I doubt it. Those guys are top quality mechanics and architects and builders. and They've they got the old... Oh, they're not quite done. I see they went and grabbed a lunch or some beers or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they got that thing started filling in. Sweet. Using the sand. I guess that place where half my load of sand over here went, but that's okay. Well, let's fill this bad boy in. <laughs> cool.
Oh yeah, good old Mother Earth. Oh, cool. They added the uh, Jamal. Looks like Jamal put in the these new uh, new fence panels they come out with for 2021. It's uh, transparent wood or uh, transparent fencing panels. The uh, looks like a fence, but it's not really. It's just full intruders. Oh, well, I'm gonna need a couple more loads, obviously. So uh, I think I'm just gonna fill this right up. And uh, instead of making it look pretty and all that stuff, I'll just use this as my uh, my sand pile for fixing roads and all the other goodies we just got done talking about where I could possibly use some sand. I mean, that way it's closer here at the farm. I don't have to go all, all the way out in the, the buckwheat and dig it out of the water.
Well, this is obviously going to take a while. It's going to require a few more loads, so uh, I'm just going to turn on the, the, the chipmunk radio station and uh, jam out to some old-fashioned oldies from the chipmunks and Elvin, Simon, and Theodore from the chipmunks and uh, haul some sand to fill in this hole, get it done so we can take care of some rebels. Or at least uh, see, see what these rumors are about the rockets. I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. I've, I've heard it's basically a glorified hell now. So uh, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see what's going on and get a hold of, uh, get a hold of John Luke and see if he can scrounge up a couple post Cold War era tanks for us to go do some reconnaissance. But. Uh, yeah, that's the general plan. Let's just, ooh, let's just get this done and get it over with. I guess that's the trick to using the front loader on these big old piles of sand is to uh, hit them at an angle contrary to you know your 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 brain telling you that you know it's probably not the best idea you should just dig in for the dig in from the side like a like silage but no I hit it at an angle and grind along and and uh, just scrape it off the top that's kind of interesting
I guess that's why the, the excavator is up here. Must be an excavator. It's obviously just better to just dig right into it and go, go, go. As to where using this loader, you got to kind of finesse it and go along the trim it off as if, uh, you know, like you're grading an embankment type of deal. But that's okay. A little watering, learning curve. It's the first time I've ever played with sand on, uh, on any of these farms. So, hey, not too bad for a first timer. wide open area that I'm going to turn into a hay field. Nice. Or maybe I'll plow it under and make it a just a regular field since I've already got that one hay field. I was thinking about uh, you know maybe 86 in the hay field that we just put in and make this hay but not much sense and all that new seeding. I mean new seeding is going to be good for a couple years so I could just plow this under up here and put in a just a regular old field. What do we got here? Another glorified wet spot? Oh, uh, yeah. Oop, yeah, the bushes. Oh, that's not too bad. At least it's not all rutted up yet. I can just go, go around that. Or maybe I can just fill it in with sand. Yeah, who knows? Send Jamal and the boys up here when they're done with the bunk and uh, fill it all in with sand. Sweet. Wait, wait, wait. Do I own this? I bet I do. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Oh, okay. Up above 14. Yeah, I own it. Oh, no, I do not own this. $300,000. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm buying it. Okay, I'm under five hundred thousand. No more, no more buying. Gotta start doing some some selling here pretty soon. Hopefully, this uh, soybean harvest is coming in. Hopefully, I get a decent price for that. Sell it right out of the field, right to the market. You know. Well, let's see how the boys are making out up here. I just got done hauling and dumping off that last load of, of uh, sand. And I was kind of kind of mad they were using my sand, but I noticed what they were doing with it. And if you take a look at my house over here, <laughs> the uh, Jamal and the boys went busy, busy, busy with the, with the chainsaw. I left the chainsaw down there for them to use. And uh, they, they, went, they went stir crazy with the chainsaw. They knocked down a bunch of trees all over the place on the farm. Jamal told them they could uh, have all the firewood if they, if they wanted to waste their time. Otherwise, he wasn't going to let them do it because, you know, they're on the clock. And they're expecting to get something out of it. So told them they could have all the firewood. And uh, 
So they went willy nilly and cut down all the trees but around the house and bunch of them around the farm and had some had some right here by the right here by my uh, entrance light for my driveway. They took them out, so it's gonna take a minute to get used to that, but I can definitely see my driveway easier now anyway. Um well, there's a couple here on the edge of the fields they ripped out. Yeah, that's all good, all well and good. As long as you don't kill too many trees. But, uh, let's just take a peek, see how they made out. See, uh, see how our new, uh, sand stockpile is, is looking. Should have a decent little supply over here by now. At least, uh, you know, 150, 200,000 pounds. Ah, more than that. Liters. Liters, I'm saying. Liters, there's probably 400,000 liters here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Holy crap, they even put in the bunks. Nice, I gotta go take a look at this. See, they did some landscaping, got some got some more shrubbery put in to replace the stuff we had to rip out. Hey, that's cool though. At least it looks organized. I don't wanna do that. Let me put you right here. There. Trying to make it so at least, uh, at least if a cow does try to get out through here, it's going to have a hard time doing it, you know. Well, why can't I pour it here? Okay, I guess it's as good as it's going to get. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, let you mount it up like silage or nothing. It's, uh, giving me a limitation on how high I can go. So, uh, apparently I got to go wider if I want to go higher. So, that's a good thing I stopped when I did. Otherwise, I'd have a load of sand sitting here I'd have to do, do something with. Yeah, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll get a couple pallets or, uh. Grab some of them boards, throw some boards up here or something. I don't think that's gonna bother. Works for me. All right, let me return you. Let me hit my magic teleport button. Teleport you back to your shop. That way I'm all done paying the lease on this thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, it's a nice piece of equipment anyway. 7,000 liter bucket. That was pretty slick. Yeah, look at this. Ha, <laughs> they kept the old bunks. They refurbished the old bunks. Sweet. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the, the, the large outdoor pile, and this is the other bunk. Yeah, they had the same problem trying to get it, uh, get a hole dug here as I did. A lot of, a lot of bedrock around here. Looks like they got the whole 90% done and realized, oh man, bedrock right here. So they just, they just uh, brought in the concrete pads here and laid it all out, got it all landscaped. Looks good. The pavers, that's what these are, concrete pavers. They're not solid concrete blocks, they're just solid concrete squares. About, uh, oh, probably eight inches thick. That's cool. That's cool. Let's fill it up with some silage pretty soon. I've got three bunks. I went from having two tiny ones to uh, a medium-sized outdoor bunk. That thing here, which is basically what I'll call that tiny. And this bad boy. Oh, yeah. This is something beautiful right here. Look at that landscaping job. Good job, guys. Man. Woohoo. Fancy schmancy. Wonder how much this baby's gonna hold. Probably a million. Maybe two. That's a good bunk right there. I needed that. I've got a million in the silo over there from uh, the, the little bit K had done sitting in the bunker silos. I did some uh, did some samples and sent some samples off to the lab and get the 
the nutritional value of those piles, I thought they were just going to be garbage. But come to find out, there was there was there was still top notch quality that Kay had in them. They didn't spoil or anything, so I uh, loaded them up in the truck, stuck them up there in the silos over there. Got a million pounds sitting over there, and by the time I get these bad bad boys full, I'll have uh, uh, no problem running that biogas plant. Make us some money, 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 money. Because uh, I got an email about uh, Bucks County, and Bucks County's in jeopardy. I'm, I, I might lose it if I can't. If I can't get, I gotta. <laughs> if I can't get the money to smuggle myself and and a good portion of my equipment out of the country, sometime sometime soon, I'm uh, I might lose Bucks County. So, which is gonna suck because I really wanted to go to Bucks County. Play with them factories and but it's not out of the not out yet i gotta go 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 and i guess if i quit talking and wasting your time too i could probably get more done so i'm gonna uh go see what i can do about getting this these things uh filled up go check on the crops real quick and uh go pump on some rebels see if i can't uh, see what's going on with this rumor about missiles i uh, sure hope that's not true but, um, even if they do have missiles, hopefully we can push them back. And other than that, I got to get to farming. I got to get this crop in. Got to mow some hay. Got a lot of hay to do. Um, need more hay bales. That's enough for a while, but it's not enough to get me through a hard winter. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to put the pedal to the metal and go. But uh, I guess I'm gonna teleport. Head on over to the. Oops. Close enough. Head on over to the resistance headquarters and teleport up to the tank and see what. Uh, see if John Claude was able to find us a Cold War tank. Something to. Hopefully, at least be able to go scout, see if we can do some recon on this uh, missile rumor. Well, here comes everybody right now. I'm in a big hurry to go find out. All right, I've got the keys. Keys, item in. All right. Teleportation. Here we are. Beam me away, Scotty. Alright, Jean-Claude found us a Cold War era tank. Let's check it out. What did we get? Oh man, look at this thing. <laughs> That's an Abram. M1A1 Abram. Alright, let's see if I can blow this thing up. I bet I can. <laughs> Alright, let's try to find out what this rocket rumor is all about. Hopefully we get to see one before we eat one.
I'm guessing whatever just hit that rock was a rocket because it's it sounded weird. And I think I, I think I took one earlier. Ooh, 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 eat some. <laughs> bye -bye. This tank is a sled, man. It's quick. Seems really, really accurate, too. Stole that guy's kill, but Try a premium route. into that rock damn it boy I like this tank this tank's something else Eat that rebels them rockets aren't that bad at least not not that I could tell I mean they're kind of a pain in the ass but and you know what they're they're doable Kind of like an artillery, you know, it's just uh, an annoyance. All right, let's see what Jean Claude dug up this time. Boy, that Abram, that was a, that's a what a heck of a piece of equipment. Ooh, something different. That looks Russian. Uh, yeah, 272 AV heavy tank. All right. See how this big old gas tank's on the back, of course. That's how I knew it was Russian. <laughs> I'll head up to the city, I guess.
Man, now we're even, buddy. Come on. Son of a bitch. All right, we're back in Grandpa's farm. In Rajda, Russia. Boy, that's uh, kind of a bummer that <laughs> everybody's got rockets now. They have rockets, we have rockets, everybody's got rockets and missiles. And boy, they hurt too when you get hit by one. Gonna have to, uh, have, to have Jean Claude do a little, little uh, deep dive into the black market scene and see what's going on. Maybe see if we can scrounge just up one somewhere. That might take a little time, but uh, it might be worth the investment though. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go hop on a horse and go do some horse training. Take them out to all three uh, three corners of the farm here and check the fields and see what the see what the boys got accomplished while I was away and uh, see on the status of the crops and see what else is going on. I know we've got a Huge harvest coming up in the next episode. Got a soybean harvest we got to do. Get to try out my brand new super modified harvester that holds 25 plus thousand liters of, uh, of beans and seeds and all kinds of goodies. Grass is looking beautiful. Not quite, not quite totally to maturity though. So we'll, we'll uh, probably give it, probably give it till tomorrow. Like I said, and I'll start knocking it down. Um. Yeah, other than that, that's about all I'm going to do. I've got soybeans to go in. 
got grass to do. Gonna be a hellacious farming episode next time. And uh, hopefully the rebels, the uh, they uh, learn their lesson from today and they just kind of chill out a little bit. That would be nice. We uh, did, didn't do too bad against them rebels. Held our own. Won some. Lost one. So hey, you know, we're gonna uh, gonna keep up that trend, and there'll be no more rebels left anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Too much potato vodka on the way home. From <laughs> winning. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hop on a horse, check out the farm, and uh, get ready for tomorrow's episode. So, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Hit that bell for instant notifications of all updates and new, new posted content. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace.